You, you cannot be at home with yourself. You cannot be at home with your conscience if you fail to act. In light of Penn State, how important is it that anyone who witnesses any harm coming to children speak up and, and, and protect children? What moral directive do they have beyond just a legal directive? When we see children, innocent little children, being mistreated, being abused, selling young women, young girls, into slavery, into prostitution. We cannot be silent. We have a moral obligation to speak up, to speak out, and try to do something about it. Nothing but nothing disturbs me more than what has happened to so many of our young people, to so many of our children. They get abused. They um, get treated like property or rather than like human beings. And the society need to do more. You know from personal experience the cost of speaking out. What would you say to someone who is a little bit worried or a little bit unsure or a little bit afraid? What personal message would you give to the everyday person who thinks they know something, not quite sure what to do? You've been through it all. What would you say to them? It is important for individuals to have what I call raw courage. Be not afraid. You, you cannot be at home with yourself. You cannot be at home with your conscience if you fail to act. You, you cannot turn a blind eye and look the other way. You have to do what I call get in the way. It may mean getting in trouble, but it's good trouble. It's necessary trouble when you stand up and speak up for innocent little children.